joining us. And back here in Grand Rapids, we didn't see a full totality, but we got pretty close. People came out from across the area to watch. Their tenure sides, Josh Albertus is live at the Blandford Nature Center in Grand Rapids, where Josh, it looks like the lawn was filled with people there today looking at that eclipse. What do people see there? It was very cool to experience here in Grand Rapids. Very eerie in a way, too. We didn't get all the way there, but we had. We were expecting about 94% of the sun to be covered here in Grand Rapids, but that tells you just how powerful the sun really was. Even at 94%, we still had a fair bit of light here in Grand Rapids, but it was a little bit dimmer, and really to, to explain it in any uh, uh, way to put into words, it was as if everything was kind of discolored here. And uh, as well, we also mentioned uh, we also saw the kind of thing that Sam was mentioning, probably not to the same extent, but when the sun came back, we, we realized how much cooler it had been when it reached that peak of 94% here in our area. Uh, but there were people out here across the highlands at Blanford. Organizers were really happy when we spoke to them earlier about the turnout that they had had for this viewing in an area where we're kind of engulfed in nature. Full view of the sky, not a cloud in sight at the time, so just a really cool place to view it. A couple of po folks we spoke to here afterward told us about what they saw as some of them experienced an eclipse for the first time. The thing I noticed the most was the temperature difference. That was really fascinating when it was kind of at its peak. It, it got significantly colder. Yeah, it was very yeah, cold. We were all a little bit chilly. <laughs> Again, I'm just happy I could come out and check it out. I had the day off work, so it was my first time seeing an eclipse. And the fact that it was so close to being total was really neat, too. Mm -hmm. In terms of the wildlife here in the open, I was, I was hearing less in terms of, you know, birds and those those kinds of things than I was when the sun was fully out. But those you just heard from, they said they were walking around some of those other areas here at Blanford closer to the tree lines and said they could still see the snakes, hear the birds and things like that. So I guess that's just the snakes and the birds saying the, the moon's got to try a little bit harder next time. But still very cool experience here in Grand Rapids this afternoon. We'll send it back to you.